It feels like we are living in an era where science and technology takes massive leaps, changing our world and universe, or at least its understanding of it completely. The Hubble Space Telescope showed us the universe in a new light. But what we are now experiencing is a revolution. A revolution like no other. The James Webb Space Telescope has only begun its science operations and it is already breaking the very model of our universe. Welcome to Stark Stream. Think bigger, go beyond. We are well aware that the James Webb Telescope will lead to some groundbreaking scientific discoveries and humanity cannot wait. The most potent telescope in the world can do wonders for astronomers and also give them sleepless nights. Let's see how. Only in July, astronomers found glass E13, which was the frontrunner to be the oldest galaxy in the observable universe. But now, a new candidate has entered the party and it is so far away that it can break the models of our universe. In a paper released on August 5th, Rowan Naidu, an astrophysicist based at Harvard's and Smithsonian's, jointly operated Center for Astrophysics, has detailed another distant galaxy candidate from one of Webb's early release science programs, known as Sears 1749. It's an extremely bright galaxy that if confirmed, would have existed just 220 million years after the Big Bang, and it could also rewrite our understanding of the cosmos. But there's a huge catch. Sears 1749 could be one of the most distant galaxies we've ever seen or it could be lurking much closer to home. Essentially, the data seems to indicate two possible places for the galaxy to be, and we won't know which one is correct without a lot more observation. That's earned it the title of Schrodinger's Galaxy Candidate. So, how can a galaxy like Schrodinger seem to be in two different places? It's all about redshift. To determine how far away a galaxy lies, astronomers study wavelengths of light. Specifically, they are interested in a phenomenon of light known as redshift. In a nutshell, light waves leaving distant galaxies get stretched over time, shifting the waves down the electromagnetic spectrum and making them redder. So, ultraviolet light leaving a galaxy like Schrodinger won't reach Earth as UV light. Instead, it will be redshifted down into the infrared, which is great for us because that's just the kind of light web searches for and Webb has various filters looking at distinct wavelengths of infrared. In examining a galaxy like Schrodinger, you can flick through the wavelengths like you might flick through a photo album. On the first few pages, fewer red wavelengths, you won't see a thing. Then, as you turn through and the wavelengths become more red, the ghost of a galaxy appears. In the most redshifted wavelengths at the back of the album, the galaxy is a clearly defined object. Redshift is denoted by the parameter Z and higher Z values mean a more distant object. One of the confirmed most distant galaxies discovered to date, GNZ 11, has a Z value of 11.09. In the case of Schrodinger, the research team stated could have a Z value of around 17. That would mean this light is from a time some 13.6 billion years ago. This would also mean we might need to rethink our models of how galaxies evolved in the earliest days of the universe as galaxies from that long ago should not be this bright, at least according to the model we currently use to explain our cosmos. But maybe we don't need to break physics just yet. It might be that Schrodinger is actually a satellite galaxy of one of its more massive neighbors, and it could be much closer to us. Another group of researchers also studied this exact same galaxy from the early release data on the same day. Jorge Zavola, an astrophysicist at Alma Japan, and his team added to the JWST data with data from an Earth-based telescopes in the French Alps and Hawaii. They came to the conclusion that Schrodinger might be an imposter, masquerading as a high redshift galaxy when it's actually a much closer dusty galaxy undergoing rapid star formation. Scientists now find themselves in a pickle, since the data suggests two potential locations for the Schrodinger, and no one is yet certain which one is accurate because further investigation and observations are still needed. In particular, spectroscopy will allow astrophysicists to scrutinize its redshift more accurately. The only barrier now is time, getting enough time on telescopes around the world to study Schrodinger and solve the puzzle. But hold on, Schrodinger is only a part of the massive image released by Webb. Thanks to an international team of astronomers, the largest image yet taken by the James Webb Space Telescope was released in July. Sears, the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Study, 
has released a massive mosaic of all the data they were able to gather in their first observations of the early universe, with what they refer to as an unexpected, but not unwelcome abundance of never-before-seen galaxies. The image that has been released is actually made up of data from the near-infrared camera, the near-infrared spectrograph, and the mid-infrared instrument taken in parallel and carefully stitched together. The official release zooms in on six especially interesting galaxies out of the vast number contained in the immense image. The first is a beautiful bright blue spiral lamb galaxy at a relatively recent redshift of 0.16. You can easily make out bright pockets of star formation within the arms of the galaxy. The second is an elliptical galaxy at a redshift of 1.05. The third is a set of interacting galaxies from around 9 billion years ago. The fourth is two spiral galaxies interacting. The fifth is an extremely detailed image of a spiral galaxy from 6.4 billion years ago. And the sixth is a set of bright red and orange murdering galaxies. The images indicate that massive galaxies were already forming in the earliest days of the epoch of reionization, when the plasma that evenly filled the early universe collapsed into more familiar stars and galaxies. Despite its tremendous size and all the ancient galaxies contained within it, the image is just a tiny slice of the sky. Webb's work has only begun, and very soon, we will unfold the universe like never before. Atmospheres of exoplanets that lie in the habitable zone of their stars, artificial lights around exoplanets, and study of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn are only few of the several investigations the super-powerful telescope will run. We wait with bated breath for Webb to show us our universe like never before. Sure, with more discoveries, more challenges to the existing model of the universe will come forward. But what is science without forever improving? What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Star Extreme. Think bigger, go beyond.